Hello, my name is Anthony McCarthy. Today we're going to be using Saskatchewan chicken to make a sous vide Szechuan chicken dish. Let's meet Saskatchewan chicken farmer Tiffany Martinka to explain more about broiler chickens. My name is Tiffany Martinka and I am a Canadian chicken farmer from Saskatchewan. So one of the most common questions we get is what is a broiler chick? To put it simply, a broiler chick is a chicken that's raised for meat. So just like there's different kinds of cattle, beef cattle are for meat, dairy cattle are for milk and other dairy products, there's also different kinds of chicken. So some chickens are layers meant uh, for laying eggs, but in our barns, these are broiler barns, so they are raised specifically for meat. Um, so in fact, there has never been a single egg laid in our barn. Welcome back. Let's make some sous vide Szechuan chicken. Before we get started on the recipe, uh, let's be sure we've got nice clean hands, clean equipment, uh, and the chickens come straight from the cooler. First, create your spice blend using chili powder, coriander, cinnamon, ginger powder, garlic powder, and ground Szechuan peppercorns. Mix all of these ingredients together and set aside. Step one, turn on the immersion circulator and set to 74 degrees Celsius. Immersion circulators, they're readily available in the kitchen department, many major stores. These are such a great tool, we use them all the time in a commercial kitchen, but they are so readily available for household use now. What they do is give you the ability to cook to precise temperatures uh, and get a lot of flavor into your food. So I highly recommend going to get one. They're very cheap now uh, and very easy to use. Step two, create the chicken marinade, mixing the tamari soy. This could be regular soy as well. Orange juice, vegetable stock, juice from a lime, sesame oil and the spice blend, all mixed in a bowl. Place the chicken breasts into a sealable bag and pour in the marinade. Seal the bag with as much air removed as possible. Now you can use a Ziploc bag, one of these handy dandy chicken bags, or if you have a sealing machine at home, place them in that bag and remove as much air as possible. So there's many ways to do it. That will work very well with your immersion circulator. Step three, place into the preheated immersion circulator. At this point, the temperature will drop a few degrees because we're putting the cold food in. Allow it to come back to 74 degrees and then start your cooking time, which will be one hour. Guests often ask how the chicken we serve was raised in Saskatchewan. Check out this video about farm to fork processing. Currently, Saskatchewan is home to 68 registered chicken farmers, 74 farms, 11 breeder farms, two hatcheries, two federally inspected processors, and one provincially inspected processor and 15 feed manufacturers. It starts with production planning. Industry meets to determine the need in the Canadian market and plans production for a determined period of time, which is eight weeks. The broiler breeder produces fertilized eggs that go to the hatchery. The eggs then head to the hatchery where they incubate the eggs. The eggs hatch at 21 days. Once hatched, the chicks are delivered to the farm from the hatchery the same day. It's here that the farmer places chicks in the clean barn with fresh bedding. Once placed, this is where the chickens grow and mature. They live in large, free-run, climate-controlled barns with food and water 24-7. Once fully mature, the chickens are transported to the plant for processing. After being processed at the plant, processors deliver to retailers who sell to consumers to enjoy. Welcome back, let's get cooking. Step four, after one hour of cooking in the circulator, the chicken is ready to serve. Or you can pop them on the grill for some extra flavor. To ensure your chicken is fully cooked, use the meat thermometer to confirm the meat has reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Step five, we're gonna plate and taste. Alternatively, the chicken can be chilled in the bag, refrigerated and left sealed until ready to consume. This is a great make-ahead meal. I hope everyone has fun trying this recipe and they enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching.